Waha, welcome back to another Fangtober piece. Today we're working on day number 19, and today's theme was ancient, and I had some trouble with this theme. A few of these themes, as you can tell, I've had troubles with because I'm pretty sure I tell you guys. But um, I really didn't know how to portray the theme ancient, and of course, I'm sure there are many different ways to portray it, but I personally struggled with this. So the first thing that kind of came to mind was this vampire who, you know, got turned like really early in like the early days of the world or something. And as literature moved on, she found a love for books. And so she made it her life's goal to collect or even write her own books um, and just as many as she physically can. And so I thought that that was a fun little challenge and it gave me a fun reason to do a background. And I just love this piece. She's just adorable. And it's probably one of the very few pieces this month that isn't like crazy um, morbid or whatever. But that's okay. Um, not all of them are going to be like that. And I'm not upset about it because I think she's just so adorable. Like, I just want to be her best friend. Um, I want her to read books to me. I don't know. Anyway, I did a lot of layers on this paper and I'm just, I'm digging the arches paper. It's being kind to me and I, I, it's so expensive, but like, I never want to go back. <laughs> Uh, but I also don't want to use it, but like I'm forcing myself to use it this month just because I am, I'm an art supply hoarder. I have a problem. I guess the first part of having a problem is to being able to admit the problem, right? Um, that's the first step to getting over it, but I don't think I'm going to get over hoarding art supplies because I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's like collecting them all. It's like Pokemon, help! <laughs> But anyway, I just love everything about this piece. I love her little expression because she seems super wrapped up in the book. And I just like that she's like sitting on the books. And I, I know the pose doesn't really make a lot of sense. I feel like a normal human couldn't do this unless their their leg muscles were like super crazy or those books were glued down. <laughs> but you know, she's a vampire. She's got superhuman strength and maybe those books are just really heavy. We're just going to go with that. Um, I started to do this piece in pretty much only black and white, and I realized it was like, what am I doing? Why aren't you doing any, like, pops of color or anything? So I ended up adding some pops of color to the books and, like, to her and stuff. And I thought about adding a little bit of, like, a blood splatter across some of the books in the background, and I didn't in the piece. But that isn't to say I may, like, I might go back and actually do that on my own, because actually I think that would be really hilarious now that I'm thinking and talking about it. So I may do that for like my final piece, um, but I don't know. So yeah. So since um, I kind of mentioned it in the last video, but if you didn't make it to the end of the video, I'm going to mention it now. I am going to be starting a Kickstarter for a coloring book for this. I am really, really excited. That Kickstarter starts on November 1st. So I hope you guys are ready. It's going to run for 30 days, so you will have 30 days to pledge, and I'm going to be making some awesome rewards. I'm really excited about the stretch goals and the rewards and just really everything. I've been working kind of behind the scenes on the extra stuff. I've not been sharing it literally anywhere. Even my patrons haven't seen any of it, but I think I'm going to be sharing some of that stuff soon with them. So uh, if you're a patron, you'll be seeing some behind the scenes stuff soon. Plus, I'm going to have you guys vote on some stuff. So if you're a patron, I'm going to have you guys vote. So look forward to some some of that because I am I'm really indecisive. I don't know if you've noticed that. I'm really indecisive and I I like having my patrons' opinions because they always give me really good feedback and really good opinions. And also you guys here on YouTube do and I appreciate all the feedback that I get. Um and I tend to take it to heart and or not to heart, but like I try to do something with it because a lot of times like someone will give me constructive criticism. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that would have been such a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? So I do really appreciate any and all criticism, really, as long as it's not like rude criticism because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so here I am finally adding that pop of red and I, I love it on her skirt. I showed it in the sketch that it was like that on the skirt and I just, I think it's really cute. And she's just definitely got this like librarian bookish vibe and oh, she's so cute. I just want to squish her. Anyway, um, I added some red to, again, like I mentioned earlier, some of the books and some of the ones in the background. And then I actually end up adding a couple of bats in that little doorway to the side. I, I think I line it in red and then like the doorway frame, door frame, that thing. And then I put some little bat friends up there because I thought that would be really fun too. Um, 
And yeah, I don't know. She's just kind of got this little reading nook area. And I didn't put anything in the doorway. I could have put more books, but I'm going to be 100% honest. I was really lazy and I just didn't want to. I was like, yo, I did all this background. Time to relax. <laughs> so with the past two pieces, so today's and yesterday's, I actually inked it, like painted it, I guess, first. And then I inked it like line art last. And that's typically how I work with like watercolors and stuff and markers. And I'm really glad I did that. That I can't talk today. I can never talk. I say that in every video. I can't literally ever talk. Anyway, um, so I inked them last and I, I just love doing that. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I can get more. I can't think of the word. I can get more like feeling across more like movement to the piece. It feels more organic. I think that's where I'm going with what I'm trying to say here. But I, I feel like it's more natural when I paint it first and then ink it last. Because sometimes when I ink it first, I feel like it's really stiff. And it's the problem I have with digital art. I feel like it has to be like perfect and has to stay in the lines. Whereas if I'm just coloring my sketch, I'm not too bent out of shape if I go out of the lines because most of the time I do anyway. Because apparently Katie never learned how to color inside the lines. <laughs> But anyway, um, there are a few parts of this piece I do off camera. I think I end up inking a few places off camera and I do think I also did some white highlighting off camera. Uh, my camera started to die and I really wanted to get the piece finished up because I had been ahead <laughs> for a few days. But today's piece I am actually filming probably about a few hours before you see this. So it is five in the morning. Haven't went to bed yet, and here I am <laughs> voicing this over. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it is the 19th when I am talking to you, so um, I'm not super ahead. However, I am trying to get ahead again because I need to work on the Kickstarter. And honestly, since these are like everyday pieces, um, I'm trying not to work too far ahead. But at the same time, I want them done so I can like show things on the Kickstarter instead of having to be like updating soon kind of thing. So... I don't know, but I'm really, really excited. I will be linking the Kickstarter in um, any video description. I'm actually going to be making like a little Kickstarter video specifically for that. Um, so you will see it. It'll, of course, be all over my social media. Speaking of social media, if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, I do have those and they are linked in the description below. And also, as I've mentioned in every other video, if you're interested in my ghost storybook or any of my fall and Halloween goodies, I've got charms and stickers and just a bunch of fun stuff over there that are spooky season and fall related. So if you're interested in any of those, I will have links to that in the description and I will also have it pop up on the screen here. Those will be leaving my shop on November 15th, so if you're interested in getting them before they sell out or leave, I would highly recommend you checking them out. I am low on stock with a couple of things, so keep that in mind. So here is a look at the final piece. I want to thank you all so incredibly much for watching. I hope you're having a squidoodly awesome day. I hope you're staying safe, happy, healthy, and I love you guys so much. Until the next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!